Welcome back, welcome back. Another episode of the Man to Man NFL Pick Show. It's week 13. Try to get back on track, man. AB, you was in the positive. You was in the green last week, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got back on the, on the positive side. Positive side, 8-12. Money line against the money line, 96 against the spread. Well, you um, said you was 8 and eight what against the money line? 87. Eight, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, on the season, 105, 73, and 1. And against the spread, 86 and 91. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, people. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting scary down here. They say either how do you do? Well, shit, I'm, I'm past due right now, man. <laughs> Last week, six and nine against the spread, six and nine money line. Uh, on a year money line, 102, 76 and one, and then against the spread on a year, 79, 99 and one. God damn, that stink. Well, let me hurry and get this shit off the screen. <laughs> Hey man, man can talk back this week, baby. Yeah, we, you know, we 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 on a roll right now. We both want to know. We both picked the Cowboys this game uh to win in the cover. I think it was at six um when we picked it. But uh, so hey, we start off in the right foot real quick. We throw those standings up again for those of you who are watching. Uh, for those of you who are listening, um, I just read off the leaders in each uh division going into week 13. We got the Patriots, they're leading the pack in the AFC East at eight and four. Kansas City Chiefs, 7-4, AFC West, AFC North. We've got the Ravens, 8-3. Titans, 8-4, and, and AFC South. And on the NFC side, Cowboys, 8-4 now, right? Yep, 8-4. Yeah, 8-4 now after the victory over the um, Saints. we got the Cardinals sitting at an impressive 9-2. Packers at 9-3. And, and then the Bucks down yeah. south at 8-3. So, um... <clears throat> You ready to get to these picks, man? Let's get it going, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. All right. Minnesota Vikings, favored by seven and a half on the road at the Detroit Lions, who are defeated right now. They got a tie. But uh, how you feeling about this one? Man, um, I'm going with Minnesota on the road. Yeah. Um, and I got them covering. Um, I'm – I tried two times, Detroit, <laughs> to rock with you. Um, I know you. I know you will get one. I know you will get one. You but still, I won't, you still got I won't, faith. I won't be right because I'm not picking. I'm not picking with them another time this year. <laughs> so I got Minnesota Vikings winning and covering. I'm right there with you. Minnesota Vikings win. Minnesota Vikings cover on the road at Detroit. Late season divisional game, anything can happen, but it's the Lions. Uh, another divisional game. Got a lot of divisional games this week. Ten and a half point favorites, the Tampa Bay Bucks defend the champion Bucks at the Atlanta Falcons. Um, like I said, favorite by ten and a half. The Bucks are. Ooh, which way are you going in this one? I'm going with the Bucks, but um, I'm gonna take Atlanta to cover. Okay, I'm gonna take Atlanta to cover. Um. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm. I'm. I got the Bucks winning, but Atlanta cover. All right, I'm right there with you. Uh, Tampa Wolves still be out. Out. A. B. A. B. Won't be there. Him, Mike Edwards, and uh, and John Franklin the third. Y'all got suspended for the Vax card. They got caught up. Um. Got to be, be more careful. Got to be more careful. And as we used to always say in the locker room, pay your debts. Uh, but uh, Falcons, man, they got Patterson, Patterson, all around guy. They got Falcons, they got a chance. So, 10 and a half point spread. I'm gonna take the Falcons to cover as well. Bucks win, though. Uh, oh, we got this one. <laughs> got the Arizona Cardinals at Chicago Bears. Arizona Cardinals, man, they're at a seven and a half point. They are a seven and a half point favorite. Um, who do you got this one, D Buck? <sighs> Cardinals all the way around. Cardinals all the way around. Kyler's back. D Hop, I think, is going to be back as well. This team has been the best team in the league from wire to wire, in my opinion, even without the starting quarterback. So I'm going Kyler, man, with the, with, with the Cardinals winning in the cover. I'm with you on that one as well. All right. We agree. Sorry, Bears. Man, we got our Colts 
going down to H Town to play the Texans, the AFC South matchup. Coach, 10 point favorite. Who you got in this one? Colts win, Texans cover down there in the NRG Stadium. Yeah, I'm going Colts win, but scrappy. Now, the Texans are 31st, I believe, against the run. And I know we're going to try to run that thing probably 40 oh. times this week. So I'm, I'm, now, a little, I'm scared about this one, huh? I'm going to tell you now, D, but Colts going to win and they're going to cover. All right, I'm switching it in. I'm switching. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. AB, I'm listening to AB. Coach win, coach cover on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I switched it up. So I made these picks on Pat Show as well on Friday, so it's a day later. So I'm switching it up because I did go Texas on that one. Uh, Eagles at the Jets. Jets got a win last week in Zach Wilson's return. Eagles got an ugly loss last week. In the division against the Giants, they are favored on the road at the Jets by seven points. A lot of road favorites this week. Um, how you feel about this one, Philly at the Jets? What's up with um Hurts? Is he is he gonna be up this this week? I've I seen him on the um, on the report. Yeah, I haven't seen him ruled out, so I would assume, so, especially if they still seven point favorites. I would definitely yeah. um assume so. <clears throat> Jalen Hurts. This is this this is a tough one right here. It is. I'm gonna go Philly. I'm going Philly. Uh winning and Philly covering. I'm with you. Philly wins, Philly covers. I feel like it's gonna be an ugly game, though. Yeah, Jalen Hurts list is questionable. No, so he'll be up. Yeah, he'll uh He'll be out there. Texas and Hurts will play against the Jets, according to Mike Garofalo. So, yeah, I got the Hurts. I got I got the Eagles uh, winning the cover. One of the better running teams. I think the best running team right now in the um, NFL, averaging 106 yards a game. And I don't think they have a 100-yard rusher this year yet, which is crazy. Uh-oh. 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 This, this is the one. This is the one. Hey, got the Chargers at the Bengals. Um, Justin Herbert, D Bus guy, Jay Burrow. Bengals three point favorite. I don't know who you got. Wait, wait. Uh, oh. Hey, Siri. Oh, what's the weather like in Cincinnati tomorrow? Oh, looks like it will be cloudy in Cincinnati, Ohio tomorrow. The high will be 59 degrees and the low will be 30. 59. I'm rocking with her, bro. I'm sticking with her, bro. I'm sticking with the Cali boys, man. I am very, very concerned, though, because Asante Samuel Jr. is out with the concussion. Chargers have the, one of the worst rush defenses in the league. Mixon's coming off his best rush. Man, who you got, man? Ain't nobody trying to hear on that. Who you got? Who you picking? So I am concerned there, man. You pick this one first. I know you. Who you going, picking, bro. man? You already know who I'm going. I'm going with the Bengals, man. Shit. I'm going. With, I'm going with Joe Burrow, man. Mixing that run game. You know, you got the boy Chase T Higgins up, man. Look, I'm going with the Bengals. I'm going with the Bengals to get the dub, and they gonna cover. You know what? Herbert plays great. He outplays bro this week, but. I'm with you. I'm switching my pick. Asante Samuel Jr., if he was playing, I would stay with the Chargers. But since he's not, I love you, Derwin, but in Herbert and Keenan and Mike is Eckler. They got a mob over there. Chargers got, they still got some playmakers over there now. They got a lot of playmakers. It's the defense yeah. that I'm concerned about. Um, You know what? I'm, I'm going to Bengals. I'm think, going to Bengals. I, I think Chargers defense show up on this game. They they know what's, in, what's at stake. Uh, You ain't gonna get me. I see. I, this is where I got to keep my heart off my ticket. I'm trying to get out of this hole that I'm in, so I'm going with the Bengals. It's another pick that I picked. Chargers on Pat show. I'm switching over to the Bengals because Asante Sammy Jr. is out. That's the only reason I'm doing it. I want to be clear about that. Damn. Sorry, guys. Watch they win. Watch they come out and win by ten points. Hey. Hey, we got the Giants, man, going down south. Got the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins are six and a half point favorite. 
Daniel wait, Jones. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Bengals win money line, Chargers cover. So run that back, Tone. Clip this up. Bengals. I ain't even gonna talk about the money line. I'm taking Chargers plus three. Gets the spread. That's all I care about. All right, my bad. There you go. New York Giants going down south, playing Miami Dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins, six and a half point favorite. Daniel Jones is out. Mm, they have okay. a lot of players out. Um, Sterling yeah. Shepard is questionable. Tony, I think, is out. Um, they got a yeah. lot of they got injury bug over there. Um, in in in, in New York. Who you got in this one, D Buck? Dolphins. Dolphins. What they four wins in a row, I believe. Two is playing. He's on a hot streak right now. He's looking good. Just named all those injuries. I got the Dolphins winning. Dolphins cover at home. Yeah. Hopefully it's hot too. I'm with you. Hopefully I'm with you. I got the Dolphins right winning. I got the Dolphins cover. Perfect. Hey Siri, what's the weather supposed to be like in Miami tomorrow? Miami tomorrow. The high will be 81 degrees, and the low will be 68. My weather data is provided by the Weather Channel. All right, all right. 81. Ooh, it's a tough one. This, is, this should be a good game. Um, <clears throat> Washington football team, who are on an impressive streak right now. Coach Rivera come running off the field at the last game, left F and go. Got his boys playing tough, man, at the Raiders. I've said they've been dealing with a lot this year. A team that you were concerned about even after their hot start out of the gates. How do you feel about the Raiders this week at home against the football team? I think it's going to be a, um, a tough matchup. I think the Raiders, one of their top dogs on the offensive side of the ball, Waller, is doubtful. Mm. Um, so that's obviously, you know, it's a big weapon for Carr. On Washington side, you know, you got Landon Collins that's out. I think you have McKenzie that's out as well. Um, but I think Washington football team can take their show on the road mm. and get a win. I got Washington football team winning and covering. Did they uh did they win in Seattle? I think they no. won in yeah, Seattle. No, no, nope. Seattle it was in Washington. It was okay, it was at home. Okay, so yeah. they're taking the trip out to the West Coast. Might be a yeah. short week too. Damn, for them, they play Monday night. Uh Derek Carr. Waller being out, Renfro been stepping up though. Damn. See, I didn't factor those other things in because I picked the football team on this one. He's Jack. They talking about a calf. Watch the football team. Plus one and a half. Watch the football team money line. You know what? So I, I think the Waller situation is huge because you know, even with Hunter Renfro stepping up. With Walla out now, now you can kind of take that attention that you will put on him and you can put that somewhere else, you know, doubling somebody, mm -hmm. doubling rough row. So that's one of the things. I mean, I'm just thinking at the yeah, defensive line, that's yeah. something that you could do. So, you know. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But um, shout out to Renfro too, balling on the next level. Saw a stat yesterday. He had his third 100-yard game in the league. And he had zero hundred yeah. yard games in college. So uh I love that. to see it, man. I love to see when guys get to the next level, step their game up. Um, he had a lot of dogs around him in college as well. Right. <laughs> um, woo! Slobber knocker. The ugly AFC North battle that, you know, as defenders, we gotta tune in. Hey, throw the records out the window. I'll tell you this right now. Ravens favorite at four, favorite by four and a half on the road, going to Pittsburgh, Hinesville, Steelers. Who you got in this one? This AFC North rivalry. Baltimore. Baltimore Ravens. They winning and they they cover. I, it's a tough one though. I, I feel it, like Mike it, T gonna have Pittsburgh. I feel like he's gonna have them boys ready to play. It was a lot going on with Pittsburgh this week, man, with you know all of the, the culture <laughs> and Ryan Clark talking about him and then Mike Tomlin addressing that. I'm sure the players felt some type of weight in the locker room. They have been getting they just got the doors beat off of them by Cincinnati. So 
Uh, it's four and a half points, bro. It's a big spread, man. I'll take the Ravens to win, but I got the Steelers to come. I'm going to take Steelers plus four and a half at home in December. Mike Tomlin. Oh, Big Ben. Oh, raggedy Big Ben. He finds a way to make this close. Lamar ain't been playing great for these like, his last few weeks. And uh, I don't think you beat Big Ben with that game he had last week against uh, Baker. Baker's probably the only quarterback in that division that you do beat with that type of game. Yeah. <laughs> but, we're going to uh, see, though. We, we definitely going to see. I think TJ Watt, he's out of COVID protocol, so he'll be playing. Um, I think Joe Hayden might have been ruled out. Uh, we'll see, man. Yeah, it, yeah, I think it's gonna be a good game, though. It's a big, I think it will too. I think it will be too. Hey, what about this? You think this is gonna be a good game? Not at all. Jacksonville Jaguars <laughs> <laughs> out on the west coast visiting the Rams. The Rams, a 13 point favorite. How you see this outcome? I'm with you. Uh, you said you don't think it's gonna be a good game. 13 points is a lot of points, a lot of points. Uh, Jacksonville has shown that they can't get after some guys when they want to. So, uh, big concern about this Rams team, this O line, like especially in the middle, like that center, that left guard, they be getting that ass whooped. And then obviously Stafford, but I think they win this game by damn thirteen though. I'm gonna say yeah, I'm gonna take the Rams cover. Shit, I'm gonna take Rams cover thirteen points. I'm with you, Rams win, Rams cover. Nervous about this one. I ain't gonna lie. The Jacksonville Jaguars stink, though. They stink. Another divisional. Yeah, man. Um, in San Francisco, going out to Seattle. San Francisco, three and a half point favorite. Debo Samuels is out. Mm. I think Fred Warner is out. Um. Oh shit, that's big. Yeah, I, I was I was, at, I was looking at this early. That's, huge. that's, that's the best player on each side of the ball. Man. Mm. Yeah, hey, who you got? I, in this I, one? I, I, mean, I didn't know that. AB, you just put me he, on some shit right there. Samuel is out. I mean, damn, this Seahawks offense in particular has just looked so terrible. Defense made some plays last week, but this offense just looks bad. Um, Washington football team did kind of run shit at Seattle, too. You know what? I'm going to take Seattle with the points. San Fran wins, though. I got too many splits. This division was December football. Russell and that finger, man, they figured it out this week, and they put some points on the board. They'll miss some big players, man. Debo. And Fred, that's, that's big time players. I'm gonna go Seattle plus three and a half. Um, damn, does Seattle win at home too? Seattle wins, man. Seattle wins. Seattle covers. I was thinking that same thing just now. I'm thinking Seattle might win this one. Yeah, it's this this Russ farewell tour, in my opinion. <laughs> so, how many more times you gonna be in front of these home fans, Russ? You four, what? This is fourth game back, I think. Yeah, Seattle's back this year. I'm going San Fran with the win and the cover. <laughs> Seattle's bad this year. Hey, they, 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 I, I was thinking it. <laughs> Seattle's bad. Like you said, it's the fair oh. <laughs> Hey, I know. Hey, you don't talk me to Seattle. It's going yeah, to be loud in there. It's going to have good energy. But, hey, I, um, San Fran, man, they're the better team. Yeah, best team you know, top two guys um, on each side of the ball is out, but I feel as though the 49ers find a way um, to get a win. All right. <clears throat> Sunday night football. Denver Broncos, another divisional battle. Patrick Mahomes has never lost against these Broncos. Him and his Kansas City Chiefs are favored by nine and a half points at home on Sunday night football, prime time. How you see this one shaking out? I got Kansas City winning, um, but I'm going to take Denver Broncos to cover. I'm right there with game. you. We're on the same page. Yeah, yeah. I got Kansas City winning, Denver Broncos, they'll cover. 
We're on the same page. You know, Chiefs, they got a they got a, a thing for winning and not covering. I'm taking them to do the same thing this week at home, Sunday night football. Chiefs win, Broncos cover. Teddy B had a gritty, gutty performance last week, coming back from the injury, getting that game finished. I think they converted like 72% of their third downs. Uh Pat Sertain, the Baller. second. Baller. Balling, man. Uh, defense looked good as well. Herbert never got comfortable last week. This is going to be a really good game, I think. Um, and it's a really tough game to pick, in my opinion. Got New England Patriots sitting on top of the FCs at the Buffalo Bills, who are right up under them. Bills are favored by two and a half points at home. Does Mac Jones and the Patriots stay hot? Josh Allen, the Bills. They get back on track after a big win last week against the Saints. Damn, so they, they not had a long break, actually, since Thanksgiving. Who you got in this one? Man, I kind of said it. You know, my top three teams in the AFC was the Bills at one, Pats at two, Kansas City at three. So I'm going to follow up with that. And I got the Bills winning and the Bills cover. Bills, Bills. Monday Night Football. Bills, Bills, I'm right there with you. And this may very well be, this could possibly be the Patriots. They do lose. This could possibly be their last loss outside of the Colts. That's the next toughest team. But I think they got to, they may have to build it again, too. But yeah, I'm going Bills, Bills. Bills win, Bills cover. There we go. There we go. There we go, man. So we're going to see y'all Monday. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I uh, hope y'all took AB's picks. I'll let y'all know when to start taking mine again. <laughs> hey, y'all know what it is. You see it up there. The mailbag. Send your questions to DB20 to AB41 at gmail.com. Send your questions in. We'll definitely get it answered. Yes, sir. And you see the hat AB rocking. So that man to man merch finally coming in. Be on the lookout, man. To cop. Hey, so uh, we're going to throw the website. We're going to throw up with that. We'll get that to y'all soon. Yeah, Darius bought the shop.com though. We'll get your DB hat, huh? Shirt. Still ain't got mine, don't. Send me your address, man. All right. Come on. Man. Man. We out of here, man. I put it in wire. like 10 times. So that's cow. That's cow. Big cow. But I got you though. You want everything. I, I seen both. Everything DP. DP. But yeah, we out of here, man. We 13. It'll be in the books after Monday night. We'll be back Monday morning, 11 o'clock. Same place, same time. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We gone. Peace.